Okay, now that we have Git on our computers, if we don't want to always use command line uh, to do our Git commands, we can uh, uh, install um, um, a graphical user interface for it that is called Tortoise Git. So Tortoise Git is the one that we want to download. Google for it, and it comes. Tortoise Git comes up. Just click on download, and uh, the tortoise kit comes up to download either 32-bit uh, or 64. We already know it's 64, so I'm going to download the 64-bit one. Um, and after the download is completed, I'm going to click over here to uh, uh, execute it. Now that it's completed, I just click over it and open it. Okay. Uh, it cannot reach the smart screen, it doesn't matter because it's tortoise, I, we know that it's safe. I'm going to click on next, so for this one just click on next over and over, you don't need to do anything and install. You don't need to select any type of uh, features for it. And uh, you can run the first uh, setup that sets the global settings for your git through tortoise git so i'm going to run it and we'll see what happens so down to this point you're fine you can just uncheck that one and say finish but i'm going to let the wizard run and we'll see what happens after that okay i want the language to be uh english so i'm going to go next 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 um sell it put your name over here and the email address that you want git to recognize you with now if you are creating an account on GitHub, make sure that the name and the email that you have over here matches to what you have on GitHub. And just click finish and you are done. It sets up the global variables for your tortoise Git and Git. Now after doing this to test and see if it works or not, I'm just going to open um, the file explorer. All right, let's go to documents over here. I uh, already have IPC 144, so I'm just going to delete these things. Delete. Okay. Now, in the IPC 144 directory, let's say I want to uh, clone uh, the repository of, uh, say, notes, notes archive on GitHub. So let me just empty the recycle bin over there and open the browser. I'm going to go to GitHub. And I'm going to go to Seneca 144 organization and say I want to get all the notes that, are, that, that I have on the, on the repository. I'm going to click on download. And over here, I'm going to copy the path for the repository. So you click over here and it copies the path into clipboard. Now I can right click over here. I go to tortoise git and I click on git clone. Automatically, it is pasting the uh, path that I copied over there and I'm going to say OK and voila this is the equivalent of issuing git clone in that directory and downloading everything that we have on github so as you see IPC notes archive is over here and we have IPC note archives in here with this list of information now if I open this you will see I have exactly the same stuff over here 214s 21 so all the notes that i have over here they are all over here exactly the same way so um, that was how to install tortoise git on your windows to be able to work with git with a graphical user interface